Today has been such an amazing day and yet I feel so weird. You know, today we, we finished the last day of the first part of the travel documentary that I get to host. That's a dream come true. And, and today I hit 100,000 followers on Instagram. That's, that's just surreal. And yet, and yet I'm sitting here and I'm, I don't know, am I sad? Am I? But wait, hang on, let me just quickly explain. This is what happened in Gilgit. I wasn't feeling great. And the whole point of making this vlog was to try and make myself feel a bit better. I had no idea whether that mission would actually succeed. I guess we'll have to watch and see, huh? But I should probably begin at the actual start of the story, which is in the middle of the Karakoram Highway, somewhere in Gilgit Baltistan, as the wind is picking up and the sky is slowly getting darker and darker. One thing that you need to understand is that I need to get back to Islamabad ASAP, but unfortunately getting back from Hunza is not always straightforward and today there have been landslides in the region which basically means we can't go and we are stuck in this place. Of course there are worse places to be stuck in than the mountains of beautiful northern Pakistan and I was pretty lucky in the sense that I had people there with me who kept me entertained that whole time. <laughs> so basically I am getting a shout out from Eva. Are you using my video to yeah, promote exactly, yourself? Exactly, yes. You get my YouTube link, my Facebook link. Facebook by the way, I am charging you by the second. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's all? So <laughs> By the way, that is Amar, one of the cameramen in our big film crew because yes, in this scene we are shooting a travel documentary about northern Pakistan. So plenty of amazing people and plenty of distractions to go around but I was still obsessing over getting back to Islamabad as quickly as I possibly could. I guess unlike other people. Oh, you are filming me? <laughs> Keep on dancing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe it's not all bad. I mean, the views are pretty nice, and you know, it is a bit of fun. But the more important thing is what happened in Gilgit. After all that filming fun, we got back in the car on our way back to Gilgit. You know that feeling when you've got something really important on your mind and you're just stressing over it, obsessing over it and you can't get it out of your head and all you want to do is find a way to solve it quickly but you're stuck so so far away and that's exactly how I was feeling at that time, stressed out, pretty caged. The thing is in these parts night falls very quickly, I barely saw it coming but it turned almost pitch black. And it started raining pretty much the moment we checked into our hastily arranged hotel. You know, we were lucky that we even managed to find a hotel at that time of day and at that time in the season. But I guess for me, it just served as a reminder that I couldn't get to Islamabad at all that night. So I guess instead of driving back home, we're here for the night. But. I didn't really have a choice, so I started unpacking my bags and tried to make myself feel comfortable. I changed my clothes into my favorite jumper ever, looked out the window, looked at my phone, looked at my computer, but unfortunately the internet was not working. Even on my phone everything just kept loading and loading and you know, just tired. Yeah, can you hear me? The reception here is so bad and the internet keeps dropping off. Like even with the local SIM card, it's not very good. Um, yeah, even the phones weren't working. So I got up, I got out of my room and went on a little adventure. This hotel is looking slightly eerie, actually. It's very empty. And quiet. And I'm gonna 
go and look for something to drink. You know, I did my best not to think about how much this reminded me of a certain horror movie. Can I get a Sprite, please? Sprite? Yeah. I felt like I was in one of those really lonely movie scenes, you know, sipping my Sprite, sitting in an empty restaurant, looking at my phone again, and then eventually opting to go back to my hotel room, where I sat down and I switched on the TV. Terrible, awful TV. So pretty much immediately after, I got some chai, hoping that it would make me feel better, and then I decided to have a more honest conversation with myself. You know, it feels really weird to be here on my own in this strange little hotel room in Gilgit, far away in the mountains of northern Pakistan, blocked off from the rest of the country because of these landslides. And um, today has been such an amazing day and yet I feel so weird. You know, today we, we finished the last day of the first part of the travel documentary that I get to host. That's a dream come true. And, and today I hit 100,000 followers on Instagram. That's, that's just surreal. And yet, and yet I'm sitting here and I'm, I don't know, am I sad? Am I... Why am I feeling this way? I... I don't know. Everything is great. But I'm here and... You know, maybe I'm just tired. Maybe I'm sitting here alone and I'm just so exhausted. And, um... Yeah, just me and the camera. Maybe I'm just tired. Maybe I just need a few days of rest. I mean, we've been, we've had such an intense time shooting this documentary. It's been, you know, two weeks of, of just running around, waking up early, going to sleep late. And as, as the presenter of the thing, I, you know, you really have to be on high alert all the time. Always have something snappy and smart, ideally, to say at all times, um, because the camera might turn towards you and you might have to just blurt it out and um, so maybe maybe that's what it is maybe I'm just tired yeah I'm gonna go to sleep see you tomorrow morning and I did beat myself up quite a bit for feeling that way. I mean, after all, wasn't I doing exactly what I've always wanted to do? Wasn't that the dream? <sighs> but then I woke up the following morning and as the sun started to rise and as we continued with our journey now back towards Islamabad, I realized that even when you do everything you love doing, even then, sometimes you find yourself in a tunnel and you have to come out of that tunnel and smile at the world and give yourself the right to feel tired, exhausted, but then come out the other side and also give yourself time to find some new adventures. Because after all, what's a road trip in Pakistan without truck art? This is how I define street art, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but getting on that truck was no easy feat. Oh, this is more difficult than I thought. <laughs> this is actually the first time I'm in a proper Pakistani truck and it's so gorgeous. I love it. Whew. Every single inch of that truck was painted. It was just incredible to see and sit inside. And as much as I would love to stay, unfortunately we have to keep going. I was totally in love with this truck. I mean, look at all the colors and all the flowers and all the small and big paintings. Isn't it incredible? Back into our very plain truck. But even our plain little van still managed to take us through some incredible epic scenery of Pakistan. And then we drove through Babasar Pass, which is at about 4,200 meters 
in altitude and it's really high and it's really cold and very cloudy and windy but you feel like you're on top of the world so yeah how can you feel bad when you're in a place like this Woo. the good thing is that even when you're holding your camera out the window when it's two degrees outside it still feels really great and why well I think it's because it makes you feel alive. The wind in your hair, the road ahead of you spreading out into the big wide world and you are part of that world. Yep, you really are. And you know what, that's kind of the point of travel, is not to stay in five star hotels, is not to show off your Instagram photos. But the point of travel is to really learn how to deal with yourself. Because during journeys like this, you see how people live, you, you experience their lives, and you realize that probably your life is just so much easier. So any setbacks and bad moods you might experience, it just puts them all into perspective. That's kind of the point of it all. I guess. And this is why I absolutely love what I do. Every single moment of it. Even when I'm exhausted. And this all made me realize that sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it's fine to let yourself take a deep breath. Sometimes it's fine because you wake up the next day and you appreciate everything that you have so much more. And that's exactly what happened to me. I couldn't stop smiling at the greatness of the universe and the beauty of everything that surrounded me. I guess I wasn't tired anymore, was I? <laughs>